As far back as Ray McDaniel can remember, the highest point on his ranch has always been this windmill, used to feed water to his cattle. Things have changed. Now on his property and those of his neighbours stands one of the biggest wind farms in the world. In just a few years, gigantic wind towers have spread all over West Texas. The state has become one of the first producers of wind energy in the world. Ray McDaniel has 50 of these turbines on his ranch. Each of them can bring in from $5,000 to $15,000 in fees from the energy company, with far fewer worries than cattle or cotton. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lifesaver to be able to uh, farm or to ranch and then to have that additional income come in on top of what you're doing. On some ranches, wind turbines have started to replace oil wells, whose output is dwindling. But in most cases, both coexist far from the political debate that divides them. You know, people aren't putting in turbines because of global warming. This makes sense, just like oil makes sense. We need all of it, and we don't label ourselves out here. The mayor of Sweetwater is a fierce proponent of wind energy. The wind rush has brought thousands of jobs here thanks to investment by European companies first, and now some Americans too. Somewhere around 2006 it became more of an industry. People began to realize, wait, we've got steel workers. We've got 200 people in a town of 3,000 down the road who are whole jobs are fixing wind towers. We've got, you know, carbon fiber people 40 miles away. These hardcore Republicans have become defenders of alternative energy, but that won't make them new friends of Al Gore. In Washington, that's what they would say. Oh, you're on the Democrat side. It's like, since when? I mean, there are no Democrats to vote for out here. So we vote Republican, we're Americans, and we just want solutions. Energy companies also find here much less local opposition than in other parts of the country a question of local culture. I think that's one of the great things about our country and about our state. Uh, if I want to paint my house pink with purple polka dots, I can do it. If you don't like it, that's just, that's your problem. Here, wind has always been a nuisance. It now blows in dollars, and Texan ranchers aren't going to complain about that.